Terry Haddock Racing showed up at the ADRL Drag Palooza at the Texas Motorplex. He brought out the Pro Extreme car and also the Top Fuel Dragster for a license run or two. You'll see footage from that next here on Monday Morning Racer. Is the crew member down there? Which, which crew member is sorry? Is it? A George? Right there in front? Why aren't you down there, thing, man? It's over there.
Tony, Terry, Haddock. Love Terry out here at the ADRL. Uh, had a little fun without the funny car in the Pro Mod. What kind of ride you got there? Well, we missed the funny car. Uh, Pro Mod's a lot of fun. We're still getting our feet wet with it, but we didn't qualify here, but we came out and learned a bunch of stuff, and we worked on a bunch of license runs in the top fuel car. So, any kind of racing is better than staying home. Definitely. Now, with you licensing uh, the, in the fuel car with Ken Davison, how does that work? You know, for NHRA fans, what, what does it take to get your license in a fuel car? Well, the best way to explain this to people is it's very, 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 very expensive to run these cars. So if we all remember back to when we were a kid, your mom took you to the grocery store, and you all wanted to ride that horse out in front of the, in front of the store, and you had to put a token in it. And then you ride that ride till the tokens run out. Fuel cars are the same way, unfortunately. They're very expensive, so you pay per pass, and then you got to make, you know, whatever NHRA requires to, to meet your obligations to get the license. So that's what we do. All right, Terry, look, last question. You have a great team of a lot of different characters coming together. You know, like Austin, you kind of got this young guy you brought under your wing. You got Mario, been in this for a while. And we've got a schedule coming up in the NHRA. It's going to be grueling. Does that give you headaches on what's about to come up in July and afterwards? Well, yes and no. I mean, the, the schedule's going to be grueling. It's going to be grueling for all of us. The biggest challenges, I believe, the smaller teams, as well as the big teams, are going to face it the financial one. So the, the, the turning it to a two-day race doesn't change a lot of things for us. In fact, it hurts us. You know, the big teams make all the qualifying. We make every good afford it. But it, you know, usually if we have two days of qualifying, now we're going to have one. We're actually going to need a couple more guys if we want to attempt to run two cars. Um, it's hard right now with the state of the world, the state of the economy, to ask people for help, for financial help. You know what I mean? So the, the biggest challenge is I believe we're going to be the financial ones. You know, NHRA has to make a bunch of cuts, so they're cutting the purses, they're cutting everything, and uh, it's going to make it a challenge. I don't think the, the, the amount of races in the road is going to get us as bad as the money is going to get us. It's going to get everybody. It's going to get everybody, but if there's a man that can handle it and get through it, it's this man. Look, for strutmasters.com, I'm the Monday Morning Racer. This has been Terry Haddock.